One thing I love about Anthropic is that they don't make too much noise. They know and understand their target market in this crazy era of endless AI tools and companies. And they always do their best to satisfy this group of people through their top-notch AI tools and integrations without being distracted by all the other AI giants. So here is the gist. Anthropic has finally launched Claude 3.5 Sonnet, a new AI model that is being compared to OpenAI's GPT-40. My question is, must we always compare every new AI tool to ChatGPT? Just think about it. These guys have their own strength. So what's with the constant comparison? Anyways, let's get down to business. Now, in terms of performance, they have introduced some beautiful features, making Claude 3.5 Sonnet more skilled at understanding humor, handling complex workflows, and interpreting charts and graphs. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is Anthropic's newest AI model, and it's already generating a whole lot of hype in the AI world. And maybe you must have seen countless videos on it, but I bet you there is something you've not heard. So before we get into the technical part of Claude 3.5, Let's look at the basics. They've got this interesting and weird naming system. They call their smallest model Haiku and the middle model Sonnet, while the top model is called the Opus. It's a bit awkward, but it helps to clearly differentiate between their models. And of course, they are not the only company guilty of this naming system. Other AI companies have this same pattern. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is part of the mid-tier, but don't let that fool you because it is so powerful. Anthropy claims that Claude 3.5 Sonnet can outperform some of the giants in the AI game. Of course, you already know them. We are talking about models like OpenAI GPT-40, Google's Gemini 1.5. That is a heavy opinion, but let's find out why and how. According to Anthropic, Claude 3.5 is actually better than their previous top model, Claude 3 Opus. And get this, it's also twice as fast. And speed is undoubtedly a huge deal when it comes to AI performance, as it can greatly impact how quickly you get your results. Just imagine when an AI is slow, then what's the need? Claude 3.5 solved 64% of problems, doing better than Claude 3 Opus, which solved 38%. They tested how well the model could fix bugs and add features to open source code by giving it plain English instruction and also when given the right tools. Now let's talk about the benchmarks. Claude's benchmark scores are totally impressive. Can you imagine that it outscored GPT-40, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and even Meta's Llama 3 in most of the benchmarks tested. This includes areas like graduate level reasoning, undergraduate level knowledge, coding skill, and others. But here is the thing, we always need to take these benchmark scores lightly. Why do I say this? Do you remember the proverb that says, the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first? It also happens in the AI world. The AI world moves so fast that today's top performer could be the least tomorrow. Plus, these companies can just tell you what you want to hear, and you have no other choice than to believe them. So why these calls are indeed promising? We will have to see how Claude 3.5 Sonnet performs in real-world applications. Speaking of real-world applications, let's talk about what this new model can actually do. According to Anthropic, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is so good at writing and translating code, it can write, edit, and run codes on its own, showing strong problem-solving skills. It can handle complex multi-step workflows more efficiently which is a big plus for developers and businesses. And here is a cool thing. It's way better at interpreting charts and graphs. This could be a game changer for anyone working on data visualization. But there is this one improvement that I find really fascinating. Anthropic says that this new cloud is better at understanding humor and can write in more human-like way. Just take a few moments to imagine an AI assistant that can actually get your jokes and make you laugh. Come on, guys. I think we need more of this not just some boring AIs everywhere. Another nice feature is that Claw 3.5 can also accurately read and transcribe text from unclear images. This could be very useful for industries like retail, logistics, and financial services, where AI can get more information from pictures, graphics, or illustrations than just from text. Now, let's talk about the availability. I know that you can't wait to try out Claude 3.5. Here is the good news, you are in luck. It's already available for free on Claude.ai and the Claude iOS app. If you're a subscriber to Claude Pro or their team plans, 
you will get higher usage limits. And for developers, you can access it through Anthropic's API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google's Clouds Vertex AI. And the pricing model for this AI is said to be pretty affordable. It costs $3 per million input token and $15 per million output tokens. This basically means that every time you feed information to the AI or get results back, you are using tokens. All I can say is, what a wonderful price model. It also has a 200k token context window. This might sound too technical, but it is actually really important. It means that Cloud can handle a much larger amount of information at once. So if you're working on a big project and it involves a whole lot of data, Cloud can process it all without getting overwhelmed. But Anthropic is not just about improving their AI models. They are also introducing a new feature called Artifacts. And I can't find the right word to explain how cool this is. Basically, it lets you see and interact with the results of your request to Cloud right there in the app. So if you ask Claude to design something for you, you can now see what it looks like and even edit it right there in the app. Think about it. If Claude writes an email for you, you can edit it directly in the Cloud app instead of having to copy it to a text editor. To you, it might seem like a small thing, but these AI tools need to evolve beyond just a chatbot. And features like artifacts are a big step in that direction. This feature is a clear indication that Cloud is not just building an ordinary conversational AI chatbot, but rather a collaborative work environment. It's just the beginning of a broader vision for Cloud.ai, which will soon expand to support team collaboration. In the near future, teams and organizations will be able to securely centralize their knowledge documents and ongoing work in one shared space with Claude serving as an on-demand teammate. This is an impressive future plan, I must confess. Now let's talk about safety and privacy because these are huge concerns when it comes to AI. Anthropic says that they have put Claude 3.5 through rigorous testing and trained it to reduce misuse. They even worked with external experts to test and improve the model's safety, such as the UK Artificial Intelligence Safety Institute, who evaluated it before the launch and shared their results with the US AI Safety Institute. They've also used feedback from outside experts to make sure that their safety evaluations are more thorough. For example, they worked with a child safety expert from an organization called TORN to update their classifier and fine-tune their models. They even went as far as reassuring us that they don't train their generative models on user-submitted data unless the user explicitly gives them permission to do so. I really respect Anthropic for this move on privacy. We just hope they will keep to their words because most AI companies often see users' data as a new goal and they use it as they wish to train their models without due consideration. And it's actually not cool. I'm actually tempted to convince, but I won't. So big ups to Anthropic for this strong stance. So what should we be expecting from Anthropic in the future? I'm not sure they are planning to take a break anytime soon. They said that their goal is to keep improving the balance between intelligence, speed and cost every few months. And later this year, they plan to roll out Cloud 3.5 Haiku and Cloud 3.5 Opus in order to complete the Cloud 3.5 model family. What a master plan. They are also working on new features and integrations for businesses, including enterprise applications. And one exciting feature is called Memory, which will enable Cloud to remember users' preferences and interaction history, making the AI experience more personalized and efficient. If they can pull all of this off, it could really shake up the AI industry. This is such an exciting time to be following up on the AI trends and development. I can't wait to see what comes next and which AI company will drop the next bomb. So guys, what do you think about Claude 3.5 Sonnet? Are you excited to try it out and see how it compares to other AI models? Have you tried it already? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.